in the agenda, we've done our welcome and introductions. Now, in terms of what the TSC does, thanks for taking the time. We're hoping that we can share information that is relevant and useful and perhaps motivational. And that, in fact, around the table, I'm sure you're going to find all sorts of expertise that we can tap into. And that by the end of the day, perhaps a new network or communication link that you can use for your own resources. In our TSC update, I'm going to be brief, but just so you have an understanding of where we are at as a, an organization, we do have representation on several significant committees that provide insight into how sports are faring in the City of Toronto. So, all these acronyms, I'm going to help you. <laughs> the first one is CUSAC, it's the Community Use of Schools Advisory Committee, by um, that I mean it's a TDSB. Separate, not the separate school board, but the public school board. And we do meetings on a monthly basis at which we deal with permit issues, and most of that has to do with access and cost. And those costs are by classification, and we find that there are a number of sport organizations, in particular utilizing gyms and fields, that have specific concerns, and therefore there have been some subcommittees established, one of which is the field working group, and uh, I know that with Doug Blair here, he could, anyone interested in hearing about how that works, he's a great resource. But the fact is, we've been able to sit with the maintenance crews of the TDSB, the head of the maintenance, field maintenance department, and worked on some very specific issues that we've been able to address through consultative collaborative means, and that in fact have been able to resolve. We know it's not over and that there will be other issues to contend with. But the fact that the board was willing to hear us, I think indicates the importance of having access to these committees and, and in some ways ingratiating ourselves with them to know that we're seriously wanting to work together. And that now with the prospect of the community hubs coming forward, it, it lends a little bit more strength to us being there at the table to have the conversation about what school use looks like in terms of the broader community. The Sport Organization Reference Group is SORG, also a sport group facility. This is one that looks mostly at the fields and, uh, well, the fields of play, ball diamonds and uh, playing fields for soccer, football, um, not so much, well, I guess the soccer and football are the key ones. We do have some ultimate at the table, but not as, and cricket, we do have cricket. So those field classifications have had a major impact also on groups being able to permit space. The Jace Foundation has been very supportive with the helping in repair of and upgrading of ball diamonds. There's always some fallout to that and we look at that. The maintenance of those fields is crucial and we have to respect that there is going to be a change in classification when those are upgraded. We do have feedback for them and there will be ongoing consultations over the year. Space Coalition is the saving public access to community space everywhere. And that is a group that meets almost monthly, but usually bi-monthly, in terms of how the community space in the city of Toronto is accessed, and who can access, and whether it's being preserved. Currently, they are hosting a breakfast on Monday morning. You may have received information about it, at which Karen Petrie, our former chair of the Toronto Sport Council, will be presenting about community hubs. It is a timely uh, opportunity to hear and understand what the province, the ministry, is looking at. There are a number of ministries involved. It's not just the education ministry, but in fact, uh, an opportunity to understand what the report has to say about how we can look at public space. And it's not just Toronto, it's a provincial undertaking. But I think it's important to have us be aware of what the community hubs report includes and it is available online if you haven't seen it. Perhaps we could tweet out that connection once more. There is a link that I know has gone out a few times, but if you're interested, let us know. Back in the spring, Nancy Lee and I went to the City Hall. There is a, an opportunity to present to the community, the Parks, Forestry, Recreation. It's the Community Development Committee, in fact. And we did make an, a deputation. The Toronto Sport Council, in particular, has been asking for a while to have the City consider a unified sport plan that looks at the big picture and then drills down to the community needs. 
the referral at that point from that committee was to have staff do a report. And I know that there is that work being done, and as such, we have, the Toronto Sport Council has been asked to be a part of a committee that looks at developing a community sport plan, which will be much, again, more broad than just sport, but it will look at facilities, it will look at asking stakeholders across the city to provide feedback as we go through the process. And I quite honestly would enjoy hearing from you about any of your items or concerns or issues with respect to the city and the community sport plan. I'd love to be able to hear back after we get going and I know that this is something that will hopefully come to fruition in the near future. No details as yet. Um, I'm going to jump ahead here because one of our guests today is in fact pressed a little bit for time, so I'm going to jump to the Toronto Sport Hall of Honor, which again, Toronto Sport Council was represented at and has had input, but Ann Doggett is going to take us through that. I believe it's actually in another location. 